Hi, it's Low Tactical. Today, a new review of the last Extrema Ratio knife out recently, which is the Extrema Ratio S Teal. Here it is, usual packaging with the quality control certificate that is now black, looking good. And so here is the knife. It's a stone washed version. The story behind that knife is uh, it's a tactical knife designed uh, by Tilo Arndt Schiller uh, in collaboration with Extrema Ratio. As you can see uh, the blade is spear point single edge but would be quite easy to make a second edge here on the upper part. Uh, the thickness is five millimeter. It's built completely from one single piece of steel. The steel is N690 builder as usual. So uh, 58 HRC hardness. Um, completely machined so this uh, they start with a block of steel and they remove the, the, the matter to get to this point um, the grind is a flat grind so both sides here thickness so is five millimeters or 0 0.2 inches uh, the handle now uh, as you can see has that profile this part is typical of the extrema ratio designs but you have somehow uh, some kind of equivalent here up that actually acts as a small uh, guard and helps with retention so it's fully machined it has uh, quite uh, very good retention especially when you consider this is uh, let's say naked handle it's meant to be uh, wrapped in paracord if that's your preference you have the hole here and you can do a wrapping that would add some uh, some retention I'm going to show you the, the marking so you have the brand and the made in Italy and here on the other side you have the model and the serial number it has a groove on the whole length so construction wise as I said it's fully machined it has that H structure H because if you if you look at the profile you have a lot of matter here and here and in the middle a little bit less because of the groove so that allows to gain some uh, some weight uh, the yeah the length of the blade is 119 millimeters or point point four, sorry or four point 68 inches overall the length of the knife is 230 millimeters or 9.06 inches uh, construction is uh, monolithic as I said before the weight of the knife is uh, 123 grams or 4.34 ounces so now about the sheet that's a quite interesting piece because uh, so it's made of uh, synthetic nylon part with some uh, textile part that is removable and paracord which allows to a lot of ways for uh, carrying it from uh, neck knife to uh, belt uh, including as well if you if you want you can make it molly compatible with the the paracord and those uh, those grooves here and it's also compatible with ulti clips so you might for example remove the textile part and the paracord attach ulti clips and uh, carry it for example 
inside waistband. The sheet is meant for uh, retention both ways, so it's uh, completely ambidextrous. Um, the idea is also to have a very flat design. So uh, if you want, uh, if you want it really flat, you can obviously remove all the paracord and the textile, attach a filter clip or any other kind of clip and you end up with something that is really really low profile as you can see. Then uh, the use for this knife are uh, quite obvious given the, given the shape. You can see that that's meant for penetration uh, it has already a very good penetration as is. If legally you can, where you are, you can as well make that second edge here. You can see that there is not a lot of matter to remove. In the way of grips, I would say this is clearly meant for a saber grip. There is way enough room. The handle has that uh, glass slash skull breaker, which is an advantage when you like a hammer or a saber grip like this, and which will not be as comfortable if you like to put your thumb on the back here. Otherwise, if you go for a reverse grip edge out, it will do the trick. Uh, there is uh, quite good retention again thanks to those groove here uh, but if you go reverse grip edge in as you can see this will be a problem because you will get some cutting edge in contact with your skin so it's comfortable in uh, reverse grip edge out but uh, not for the reverse grip edge in. Anyway, in that kind of uh, configuration, the whole point of the reverse grip would be mostly uh, to penetrate. So it's not so important where the edge is located, especially in this case where you can have uh, an edge on, uh, on both sides if you want. So first use, I would say, would be a compact tactical knife. So compact because it's uh, just 23 centimeters and also because it's light and thin still giving you plenty of uh, space to maneuver it then you could as well use that as a EDC blade it's not the least aggressive design for that but it would definitely do the trick because you have some some good uh, matricity here with that uh, that way to handle it and uh, in my view this is also a beautiful piece that would be excellent as a, as a collectible actually so that that would be a nice addition to any collectors uh, collection <laughs> so about the price, this version, the stonewashed, is 196 euro at extreme ratio. And uh, I think there are other versions that will be available, such as the, the black, um, I don't remember, it's a black with camo, it's a, a new, new pattern they made that is uh, very nice as well. So. I would say this this is really a nice knife. Uh, the price is uh, good, considering you get something that is fully machined, very uh, tough, very good steel, and you get uh, many many options for the, the the carrying, good retention, very low footprint. So um, I like it. Nice knife, uh, extreme ratio. Uh, S teal T H I L stone wash. So that's it for now. See you.